Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how you can send WhatsApp messages directly from Excel. Let us have a look at the final workbook first. After clicking this button, a WhatsApp message will be sent directly from Excel via VBA to the number we have specified above. If this sounds cool to you, then stick around and we will create this workbook and the VBA code from scratch. The bad news first, WhatsApp has restricted the usage of its API only to businesses. For those who do not know, API stands for Application Programming Interface and without going into details, it means an interface or method or way for two pieces of software to communicate. However, there is one service out there and it's called Twilio, which we can use as a workaround. Twilio offers a free WhatsApp API, which we are going to use with the help of VBA. For this, first we need to create an account for Twilio. The account is completely free. Just follow the steps on their website. Once you have confirmed your email, you can log in into your account. You might be also asked to verify your account with your phone number. Once you have verified your account, you will land on the dashboard page. From here you need two things, the account SID and the authentication token. Those things should be kept private. Just for the sake of this tutorial, I will show you my account SID and the authentication token. However, do not try to use my credential as I will delete this Twilio account before uploading this video. With this being said, I will copy the credentials into an empty workbook. First the account SID and also the authentication token. After you have copied the information over, click on all products and services, navigate to programmable messaging and here to try WhatsApp. In this free trial from Twilio, you can only send messages to numbers which has been registered beforehand. The registration is pretty straightforward. You just need to send this text here to the Twilio number via WhatsApp. Your code might be different. Mine is join sends lady. So if you want to send WhatsApp messages via VBA to your friends or colleagues, they also need to send this code to the Twilio number via WhatsApp. Otherwise it will not work. I will also copy this Twilio number over to the workbook as we will need it later in the code. Before writing the VBA code, let me shortly apply some styling to our current workbook. Okay, this looks much better now. To access the VBA editor, click on developer tab. If it's not visible for you, you can enable it under File, Options, Customize Ribbon and then tick the box for Developer. Now the Developer tab should be visible and we can open the Visual Basic Editor. First we will insert a new module, which holds all our code. I will name it Send WhatsApp. You can name it whatever you want. For the macro itself, I will call mine WhatsApp. First, we will store the authentication ID and token in variables. You can either directly paste it into the VBA code or get the value directly from the cell by using active sheet dot range and then the cell name and then the value property. Next, we will do the same for the sender number. I will call it here from number, which will be the Twilio number. This time I will copy it over directly into the VBA code. Now one very very important thing to notice here is that you want to replace the leading plus with percent to %2b. Otherwise the HTTP request we are going to do will not recognize the plus sign. I accidentally also removed here the leading one, so the country code for the US, which I will correct at a later point in this tutorial. Next we can specify the receiver number, which is directly coming from the Excel worksheet, as well as the text message itself. 
the next lines of codes will be a little bit more technical. Essentially, what we are going to do is to send a POST request to Trilio via the API. There are different methods in VBA how you can do it. I will use in this tutorial the XML HTTP method, which we need to activate first. Click on Tools and then References. Here, make sure to click on Microsoft XML version 6.0. And then confirm the selection by clicking OK. I will of course also upload this workbook and insert the VBA code in the description box down below so that you do not need to type the following lines of code yourself. We can initiate the request by using the XML HTTP object version 6 which we just have activated under the references. Next, we will specify the URL which we want to send the POST request to. I found the curl command on the Trilio documentation which we will now modify to get this working in VBA. In the URL, we will concatenate our account SID variable from above. Like with many APIs, first we need to pass the authentication with our ID and the respective authentication token. Once again, please use your own credential as I will delete these credentials before uploading the video. To do the authentication, we will open the request and pass the URL with the account SID and the authentication token in here. There are different types on how to construct the request header. For our Trilio API, I will use the URL encoded method. As a next step, I will store the sender and receiver number as well as the text of the messages in a variable called postData. Basically, we are constructing a string here which holds all our information which we are then going to post in the request body. Once again, it is important to escape the leading plus before the country code with percentage %2b. For the body text, I have a little bug here. Instead of body, I have called mind variable body text, but we will correct this in a second. Alright, the hard work is done. Now we just need to take the data we have constructed and send it via the request object. Optionally, we can also get the result of the request, which makes sense, especially when debugging the code. In this example, I will display the response in a message box. And here we have it, the VBA code to send the POST request using Twilio's API. As we have specified the form number in the code already, I can delete it here from the worksheet. To execute the code, I will place a button onto the worksheet and link it to the macro we just have created. When you are saving the file, please make sure to save it with the xlsm extension, otherwise the code will be gone the next time you are going to open this workbook. For privacy reasons, I will hide my phone number in here. And it was a very good idea to display the response text in a message box as I have two boxes here as I mentioned earlier. You can see in here that the status code is 400 which means there is an error and it seems that the message body is not specified. Let us shortly fix this. So the body should be our variable which we called body text. And I will also fix the sender number. By mistake, I have deleted the leading one, so the country code for the US. Alright, now everything should work. Just remember, whenever you type the receiver number in here, do not add the leading plus. You can just type the country specific code in here and the number. For Germany, for example, it will start with 49 and then the telephone number. For Japan, it would be 81. And for the US, for instance, it would be only a 1. OK, and if we execute the VBA code, we can see now that it's working. 
I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment sections below. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.